mustard. Sit. Turn your back. Nice job. Your back turned. He's just trying to see if he can get a treat that way. Mustard, sit. Sit. So instead of asking him to sit, I would just keep turning your back when he jumps on you. Because he's doing it to try to get the food. So let him realize that's not going to be how he gets food. And when he chooses to sit on his own, you'll just give it to him. And so there is learning that happens when you let the dog so-called fail, right? And I'm sure you guys understand that with kids. Like we don't, we don't want them to hurt themselves, but to some degree it's healthy to let them to struggle a little bit. Right. They build resilience. They learn how to problem solve, how to make a choice. Buster, sit, sit. Going, yep, he needs to figure it out on his own. It's pretty Six. clear. Good job. Nice job being patient, Bill. Yep, just wait it out. Now give him a treat. Now, because he figured it out on his own versus you telling him to do it, that's gonna make a bigger impression in his brain. Okay. It's kind of like when you're reading with a kid, they're having trouble sounding out the word and you sound it out for them. There's nothing wrong with doing that sometimes. I think that's beneficial. But when they sound out the word on their own, there's a sense of accomplishment, right? Right. And they're like, oh, wow, I did this. And then they actually learn to figure something out. Right. right? So there's there's sometimes, sure, I'm not going to say never ask your dog to sit. Of course not. But there is that benefit on being able to be like, can I be patient enough to just wait and let the dog figure it out? As long as they're not harming me themselves or stressing themselves out to the point of, you know, a panic attack. It's okay to just let them explore. 